Hello everyone, welcome to Divine Conversations and welcome to your readings for September 2019. Thank you so much for tuning in. I want to give a big old shout out to all the Virgos out there. Very, very happy birthday to you. We are officially in Virgo season as far as Western astrology is concerned. And I want to give a shout out to the September Libras. Yes, very happy birthday to you guys as well. So please keep in mind that these are general readings. So please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. If you'd like to look into your own personal situation please go ahead and email me all the information is in the description box below yeah so for those of you that are new I want to give you a little bit of insight as to these readings on my channel these are not really specific to anything obviously we are doing this by sign but this is not love or career specific okay this is you could think of this as just the the messages that spirit has for you uh, having a conversation or a discussion with spirit about what is going on in your life at this time also keep in mind that just because these are dated for september of 2019 these readings are meant to be timeless yeah so whenever this resonates for you if it's in september if it's after september of 2019 please just take that message if it resonates for you at that time then that's the message for you at this time i i am speaking to the zodiac sign in question here but as a cross watcher you know this could be something that resonates for you as well if you are watching for someone uh, if you're cross watching for someone yeah I would love it if you guys would follow me if you're not already doing so on Instagram you can find me at divine underscore conversations you can also find me on Facebook at uh, facebook.com slash divine conversations 2711 if you would like to book a personal reading with me please just email me um, Instagram would be a good uh, other another option you know to to choose um, but Facebook is not a good option. Like I, I even mentioned this in my video last month. Um, I rarely check my Facebook messages. I don't always get them right away also. So if you're trying to get a reading with me, the best bet is to just find my email address in the description box below and email me there. I also have all of the readings that I offer and their prices and descriptions listed in the description box below. So if you would like a reading, please read through that and then email me. Again, Instagram is a good alternative, but that always isn't the most reliable, okay? The, your best bet, if you would like to get a personal reading with me, is to just email me, okay? With that said, I guess we're ready, so let's get to it. <laughs> Hello, dear Virgo. Very, very, very happy birthday to you guys. Welcome to your reading for September 2019. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you guys uh, have a great month. For those of you that celebrated your birthday in August, very happy birthday to you. And for those of you that still have your birthdays coming up in September, also a very happy birthday to you as well yes let's get straight into your reading here guys the first card I, I have your pre-shuffle energies right here the first card that came out was the moon all right and as you can see here we have ended with the Sun uh, as an overall energy which is really cool but the moon um, the first thing that came through with the moon was uh, deception, lies, secrecies, but this being revealed, okay? Um, or if it's not deception and lies, um, it's just things that have been hidden, buried underneath the surface. Now, this could be a personal revelation, as in things that are coming up to the surface that uh, uh, that you may not have been aware of, things that may have been hidden, um, blockages, uh, things that may have been plaguing you in your life. Um, I, I, the, the first thing was, yes, it was the moon, but it felt like things were going to be revealed, okay? This also could be familial, all right? There could be some sort of family secrets, family ties, uh, burdens within the family that are that have created blockages, I'm hearing, um, that could be revealed here. And then the other two cards that came out, I was asking for clarity on the moon, was the devil and the five of wands. And then ultimately the sun is at the bottom of the deck. So the sun is representing illumination of some sort. It is also representing the balance, okay? We have the sun and the moon. This could be the balance of masculine and feminine energy for you in some way, all right? Um, but uh, it, it ultimately on a general level on a general scale the sun and the moon here are representing a sort of balance so what was hidden is now 
coming to the surface or being revealed. Yes, you have the devil with the five of wands. The devil is giving me some sort of strong family tie. It doesn't have to be a family tie, though. Um, it's anything that you feel tied up to. You feel... Um, What's the word I'm looking for? I'm hearing conformity. So there may be there is some sort of ah social conformity. Um, confinement is also a word that I, I is what I want to say. Something that you might feel confined within. So some sort of social norms potentially. Maybe there's some sort of familial norms. Okay, uh, tradition. Um, the devil is obligation. I'm feeling like the devil is toxicity. Uh, it's codependency, it's narcissism, it's addiction. Um, maybe there's some sort of addiction that's coming forward um, that you're tuning into, that you're realizing. But with the Five of Wands here, there is conflict. And some of this conflict has to do with the opinions of others, um, whether that be you know, you're at the mercy of the opinions of others or the opinions of others is keeping you confined in some sort of situation. This also could be some sort of internal conflict for you, Virgo. Uh, conflict surrounding separating yourself from this devil energy. It's a, I, I'm feeling a push and pull energy, whereas you, a part of you, maybe a deeper aspect of you, really wants to be free of whatever the devil represents, whatever this toxicity is, and yet you keep finding reasons to stay bound to it. Okay. And maybe for some of you, what's being revealed here, what's being illuminated is how you have been in this energy of just keeping yourself in this conformity why you've been keeping yourself there or maybe you're starting to realize how you've been keeping yourself there maybe you've been trying to get uh, away from this toxicity you've had intentions of pulling yourself away from this toxicity and yet you haven't been able to do so and now you may be starting to see why the 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 the, the reasons behind you being stuck here in some way are being revealed to you maybe an exit plan is being revealed to you maybe it is because you are starting to understand how and why you've been trapped here that now you're starting to be able to comprehend a way out mm -hmm. that sounds good i may even title this a way out is coming but don't quote me on that. Obviously, by, by the time you're watching this, I've already titled it. So we'll see what happens. I want to get into the rest of the reading, yeah? All right. Here we go, guys. Hi, Spirit. Please make me a clear channel for all Virgos at this time. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the yeah. highest good of all involved for the month of September 2019. Thank you so much, Spirit. All right, um, before I move any for go any further, I do want to mention, and I forgot to mention this before, but you're probably going to hear a bunch of noise from the street. They are doing construction across the street. They tore down a building. Um, and now they're they're still clearing out the the lot and they're going to be building something new I'm excited to see what it is But you're most likely going to hear some of that noise and I apologize if it becomes really distracting But we're gonna do our best. We're gonna keep it pushing. Yes. All right, Virgo I'm gonna give this three shuffles for you and then we'll see what we've got now the I am I am feeling I'm seeing a color here for you and it is purple. And that purple represents divine wisdom, universal secrets, and understanding. In some ways, for some of you, maybe this illumination um, that's represented by the sun and, and the moon um, is, is, is speaking to some sort of universal understanding. Um, maybe you're starting to understand the workings of the universe. Maybe you're starting to understand the nature of life. Um, on a deeper level, which is allowing you to break free from some sort of conformity. You could just under, be understanding the, the laws of the universe better. 
and how our society, the way our society is built right now, has kept us in a sort of entanglement, entrapment through means of what we can consider mind control. And for some of you, you're really breaking free from that and starting to live from a more balanced place. And for some of you, the sun and the moon could represent the balance between the light and the dark. Which is, I'm, I keep hearing conformity. So there may, for this, it may be a, a pretty universal thing for whomever I'm channeling for right now, but whatever is changing for you, whatever breakthroughs you're having, you're seeing things from a different light and you're and it's allowing you it's giving you a way to break free of some sort of conformity okay last shuffle here virgo i i feel like i feel like the devil the not the devil the lovers just flashed me i just saw a, a little bit of a card and it caught my attention and it looked like the lovers which is the opposite of the devil um, and the lovers can speak to some sort of union, a union within the self, which ex which externally would then give rise to an external union. But in turn, what I was getting from that is you, part of you coming into balance with the sun and the moon, okay, uh, is you coming into union, masculine and feminine energy. And see, I told you, I mean, that sun and that moon represent masculine and feminine energy. So this could be a balance between masculine and feminine energy within you that is allowing you to break free from some sort of social norm or some sort of conformity. It's allowing you to understand the laws of the universe, the workings of the universe and how things really work. I'm hearing the law of attraction specifically, okay, for some of you, all right? Boop, all right, Virgo, let's see what we've got for you. Overall energy, wow, holy shit, we have the devil again. Uh, this is conformity, 100%, Virgo. And it's like, what I'm feeling is like, you are staring this devil dead in the face. I'm hearing it's time to make a change. I'm literally feeling for whomever I'm channeling for, you are literally facing your fears, facing the norm, facing whatever elements of conformity you've been dealing with. Now, actually, to be honest, well, um, let me finish that statement. Um, you're facing this head on and you're saying, something needs to change. Now, what I was gonna say also is that officially, our official card of conformity would be the Hierophant, all right? But I'm feeling that whatever conformity is coming through here is toxic in nature. And that's why it's showing up as the devil. So if you are dealing with some sort of conformity, it is showing up as the devil because of the toxic nature of this situation, all right? Underneath the devil, now you also, you could be dealing with a Capricorn. Okay, the devil is Capricorn energy. Underneath the devil, you've got the star. Wish fulfillment, healing. Something, what I wanna say is something is putting you directly onto your path. But at the same time, I hesitate to say that because I, I kind of feel like you're already on your path. And part of your path right now is learning about whatever the devil represents for you. So I, I, it's, it's, and so I, I'm saying something is putting you directly onto your path, but I also don't want you to, to think that you ever were not on your path. At some point, you've all, like to some level, 1111, you've always been on your path. It just may not have seemed like it, okay? Underneath the star, also the star is Aquarian energy. Underneath the star, you do have the two of wands. Hey, moving in a new direction. Underneath the two of wands, the Queen of Cups, Cancerian energy. But here, this is also speaking to unconditional love, emotional understanding, empathy, compassion, uh, psychic ability also. Um, you may really, you, you may be really strongly in tune right now with your environment. I feel like for some of you, you're, you're gaining some sort of insight when it comes to what's happening around you, but it's through extrasensory perception, okay? All right, Virgo, let's see what else we have for you here. First half of your reading, you could look at this as the first half, second half of your month. You could also look at it as first half, second half of your reading. I recommend just to look at it as first half, second half of the reading, just because time is an illusion, energies are fluid, and this reading is basically, it's meant to be timeless. 
But if you want to, if it does resonate as first half, second half of your month, take it as it resonates. Yes. First set of surrounding energies in the first half of your reading here, Virgo, you have the moon again. Facing your fears dead on, head on. Cycles also, cycles coming to an end, things being revealed. I keep hearing conformity, but I get a strong sense from this moon card that you're starting to see in the darkness. You're starting to see through the illusion is what this feels like. The moon is coupled with the hanged man. There you go. All right. These are two cards of Piscean energy, the moon and the hanged man. Officially, in the Tarot, the moon represents Pisces energy, but also the moon rules Cancer. So you could be dealing with the Cancerian as well. Um, this also could be familial because of the Cancerian energy. You have both the Queen of Cups and the moon here. So you could be dealing with something with family. Cancer is very family-oriented. But whatever is going on here, there is enlightenment happening. And I keep hearing conformity. But also with the hanged man, there is a change in perspective. Yes? Okay. Second set of surrounding energies for you, Virgo. You've got judgment. I want to stop for a second, and I want you to look at how much major arcana has come out already. You had the sun and the moon and the devil in your pre-shuffle. And now you have the devil, the moon, the hanged man, the star and judgment so far. That's five. That's five major arcana just in the main spread. All right. So this is big, Virgo. This is big. This is a, a major, I'm hearing a major life changing event. This is a major turning point for you to really start going in a brand new direction. You have a choice to make, Virgo whether this is in the month of September or for whatever this reading is resonating with you, you have, this is a turning point. I'm literally, literally, Virgo, this is a turning point. You are absolutely at a crossroads. You can either keep going down the path that you've been walking or you can go on the new path. But just, just keep in mind, Virgo, that there is absolutely an awakening happening here. The hanged man, the moon, and judgment. That moon representing the secrets, the lies, the hidden cycles. I'm hearing even hidden abilities. Ooh. But you see, conformity would play a strong role in that because society teaches us not to believe in anything that we cannot see. So for you to be accessing spiritual information, divine wisdom, even your extrasensory perception, that absolutely is going against conformity. Okay? The hanged man is a change in perspective. The judgment card is a wake-up call. It is literally a card that can represent ascension, resurrection. All right? Judgment is coupled with the Four of Wands. Stability. This does represent spiritual stability. It's like, spiritually speaking, whether you are, whether you identify as a spiritual person or not, whether you identify with the term light worker or whatnot, whatever, it doesn't matter. Because in, in, in spiritual truth, in all honesty, we are all spiritual beings having a human 3D physical experience. So whether you identify with it or not, it doesn't matter. You're still part of it, okay? Everyone is. Even if you, re even if you resonate more with as a religious individual. Maybe some of you are coming out of some sort of religious upbringing and you're starting to see differently. Maybe that's the conformity the devil is representing here. But either way, you have reached a spiritual or energetic state that is prime for the catalyst, catalysm, excuse me, of some sort of spiritual awakening. What I'm feeling with this Four of Wands is that you have the foundation that you need to now rise above, to now ascend a little higher, to now wake up a little bit more. 
Four of Wands could also represent family. So for some of you, yes, this is familial. Maybe you're breaking away from familial ideals. I'm hearing judgment call. Some of you may are uh, may be making a judgment call on behalf of what it is you learned in the past. And now you're moving on, you're moving forward, okay? Your challenge in the first half of your reading here, Virgo, the seven of wands, standing your ground. There are going to be people that will challenge you, especially those of you that you have been connected to the longest. Maybe even the people that you learned some of these ideals from. They will, in fact, challenge you. They may call you crazy. There may be some situations in which, depending on how much of a, how, how serious of a situation this is for you, there may be some situations in which you may be ostracized, cut out, pushed out. Oof, written out of the will, maybe. But... None of that compares to the wisdom and the knowledge that you're gaining here. Judgment, hanged man, the moon. The challenge here is to stand your ground. I'm getting a little bit of Leo energy, but I'm also with that. I'm there. They gave me Leo because I'm seeing strength. Like they, they, I felt Leo energy, which then led me to the strength card, which is representative of Leo energy. And you're needing to stand your ground here. I'm hearing conformity does not allow change. And change is a constant. Change is the only thing you can rely on in existence. Change is the only constant. And when we conform, we kill any forms of change, growth, expansion. Okay? I also just saw 9 11 on the counter. Um, which is a spiritual wake-up call. It's a call to action for, like, say, light workers. Okay? And this is why you're needing to stand your ground. Seven of Wands is coupled with... Ha! The Tower. Holy shit. <laughs> yeah, Virgo, you are needing to stand your ground because the shit is crumbling. The Tower has been struck... Illumination has happened, will happen, is happening. You need to stand your ground. Do not give in. Closing message or potential outcome in the first half of your reading here, Virgo, you have. There it is again, the Nine of Wands. Stand your ground. <laughs> Just keep swimming. This is not going to be easy. For some of you, I kind of feel like you're like, oh, all right, well, I'm gaining a new perspective. I'm waking up. I'm ascending. Things are about to be a little bit easier. Oh, on the contrary, honey, it's only just begun. Because now that you're becoming activated, and I'm not saying this to scare anybody, it's literally just the truth. So instead of t allowing it to scare you, take this as guidance. Now that you are being activated, now that you are shining your light, now that you are becoming illuminated, well... Dark beings are going to start attacking you, trying to put you down. But that's okay. You are a spiritual warrior. You can handle it. You just have to protect yourself. And you have to never give up. Because that's exactly what the devil wants you to do. And that's exactly why you need to stand your ground while this tower crumbles. Okay? Perseverance is key. This is my just keep swimming card. If any of you are familiar with I'm sure many of you are, but if you're familiar with Finding Nemo, Dory. When I first started my channel uh, a year and a half ago, I was saying this all the time. This is my Just Keep Swimming card. Just keep swimming. Just keep going. Perseverance is key. Do not give up. Nine of Wands is coupled with the Five of Wands. You see? There's going to be chaos also. What I'm seeing with the Five of Wands is you, um, the Five of Wands and the Nine of Wands together. I'm seeing you, the person that's going through this activation here and is ascending, I'm seeing you being a solid pillar of truth 
of strength, of honesty, and, and, and integrity. And everybody else around you completely losing their shit. <laughs> Because they don't know how to handle this. When at one point they had you right under their thumb, boop, right, right there. Now you wiggled your way out. Now that no, they don't know what the fuck to do. That's okay. Stand your ground. Allow them to flounder as much as they need to. They are not alone. They are supported. But you cannot change anything for them. They need to be the ones to do it themselves. Just like you are doing, or so it seems. All right? I just heard conformity again. That is a big lesson that someone is dealing with right now. Getting into the second half of your reading here, Virgo. First set of surrounding energies, you have the magician. Maintaining your stability and now manifesting from a place of your own truth, honesty, integrity, and your true desires. For some of you, you may have been creating or manifesting a life that was driven or decided by or guided by or shaped by, molded by someone else other than your own self or someone else's desires. Well, not anymore, it looks like. Now you're creating from your own place of wisdom and self-understanding is what I heard. A, uh, the Magician. I wanted to call that the Ace of Wands. That's interesting. Because if, it, if this is an Ace of Wands type of energy, this is feeling inspired towards creating something new, starting a new project. Inspiration. It could even be spiritual inspiration, okay? But it's not the Ace of Wands. It's the Magician. But the Magician is coupled with... <laughs> the fool. Oh my God. That's awesome, Virgo. You really are breaking free, stepping out, creating what it is you desire now, going in a brand new direction, moving towards uncharted waters, feeling new, feeling free, feeling able to manifest everything that it is you desire. That's beautiful, Virgo. Oh, now you know what they're saying now? Conformity is a key to change. So what, what they could be meaning there, what spirit is saying there with conformity is a key to change. When we've been trapped for too long in some sort of conformity, it causes us through feelings of unrest eventually, it causes us to want to break free. Conformity is a catalyst towards change. Interesting. Second set of surrounding energies in the second half of your reading here you have, not the Ace of Wands, but the Ace of Pentacles. A brand new life is beginning. This is what I'm hearing. A new financial opportunity, maybe a new career path, a new job, a new source of income that most likely is way more in alignment with who you truly are or what it is you truly want to be doing. Ace of Pentacles is coupled with mm, the Four of Pentacles. My, my, my. Well, that sure is interesting. Um, for some of you, this could be you holding on. This could definitely be you standing your ground, but I'm feeling financially, um, you may want to hold on to your pentacles, hold on to your money, save up some money, maybe so you can move to a new, a new state, a new area, a new home so that you have enough money to support yourself while you seek a new job, potentially, or new financial opportunity, potentially. I, I see you hunkering down and standing your ground and literally doing what you need to do to make a new opportunity to start a new job, career, or just a new life in general. You do have two fours in the same position here, four of wands and now the four of pentacles in the first half and second half of the reading. Your challenge in the second half of your reading here the Six of Swords, leaving the past behind you. 
And I'm feeling for some of you specifically, the challenge here is to not fight. It's to just huh, let bygones be bygones, which is interesting because I just did uh, the, the daily reading for today. Um, was titled by, "Let Bygones Be Bygones." You might want to watch that vid read that 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 video. Uh, I do daily readings. They're called Morning Coffee. Um, today is the twenty sixth of August, so it is the twenty sixth of August. Daily reading titled "Let Bygones Be Bygones." That doesn't mean you have to fight. That doesn't mean you have to argue. For some of you, this literally just feels like dropping everything and just moving on. Okay. Because, yeah, look, look at all this. Five of Wands, chaotic energy, differing of opinion, ego battles. It feels like you really just don't even want to be a part of that. Or it's not necessary for you to be a part of that. So just let it go. Don't even feed into it and just focus on moving forward. And that could be a challenge because maybe you do want to fight back a little bit. Maybe some of you do. Mm. It's not necessary, though. Six of Swords is coupled with. Okay, yeah, the Five of Cups. Some of you may even want to stay and work things out. Work things out. But let's be honest here. How long have you been on this hamster wheel? How many times have you tried to work things out? Maybe at this point, you should just let it go. Three cups have spilled. So this could mean a community, some sort of social environment, maybe family, whatever. But to me, regardless of what it spe is specifically, it feels like a group of people are involved here. Some sort of social setting is involved here, right? But that's spilled because it's toxic. But looky here. You still have these two cups behind you, which could be your own divine masculine, divine feminine energies within, your own balance within, your own uh, soulmate relationship with yourself. All is not lost, but what is lost is toxic. So what should you do? Just leave the past behind. I mean, that's really the only thing to do, right? Mm. I do want to point out that this is card number six, six of swords, and card number five, five of cups. Six plus five is 11. And that feels like, again, a confirmation that you are, in fact, on the right path, doing exactly what it is you need to do. You need to maintain a positive mindset surrounding this, okay? Closing message or potential outcome in the last second half of your reading here, you have the queen of pentacles. This feels like your energy. It could be more Capricorn. Okay, we have Capricorn in the devil and we have Capricorn in the archetype of the Queen of Pentacles, but this feels like you, Virgo. Set, solid, grounded, stable, maybe even financially abundant. Hearing ready to take on the world, okay. But also what I wanna say here is Virgo, you are Our nurturing energy. I want you to not allow the circumstances to make you doubt yourself or your ability to care for those that you love. This is in fact you. Now also what this is also kind of saying is that um, everything that's happening here is leading you towards this state. Coupled with the Queen of Cups energy. Queen of Cups is embodying and uh, encompassing um, unconditional love, compassion, empathy. Queen of Pentacles is embodying unconditional love, yes, but nurturance, grounded stability. Okay. Queen of Pentacles is coupled with ha, the Ten of Swords. I feel like the worst is behind you, and this is leading you, like I said, this is absolutely leading you to become this Queen of Pentacles energy, or to embody more of this Queen of Pentacles energy, or for you to realize the Queen of Pentacles within. It doesn't matter if you're a man or a woman, okay? Or, like, say, if you're a woman, but you resonate more with masculine energy. 
It's not about the gender. It's about the energy and what the Queen of, Rep uh, of Pentacles represents. And she represents honesty, truth, integrity, family, commitment, stability, abundance, motherly, nurturing type energies. She's the wife. She's the mother. She's the caregiver. She's the homemaker. This is who you are, Virgo. And the worst is behind you. Or at least in terms of this situation here, the pain is coming to an end. And it might be a really difficult ending. I'm not going to lie. This just may be a difficult situation in general. But the worst is behind you. The best is yet to come. OK? All right, Virgo, let's get your oracle guidance here to close out your reading. For my Virgos, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Last shuffle. And then we'll see what we've got. Last message, please, Spirit, former Virgos, to close out this reading for September 2019. Wow. All right, I'm just going to take this one. Card number 42. The word wants to be written. Here we go. You might have been taught that creativity is something you have to work hard to access or that finding your life purpose is so difficult that you must search high and low for it. Yet what you are is within you and wants to come out at every available opportunity. You don't have to struggle so much. It is more about allowing space for it to manifest and to let the energy flow. The real struggle is not finding something. It is more about letting a go of the idea that you need to search for your path in the first place. You see, the process of activating your life path is a natural one. The effort is getting out of the way, not in making something happen. As for being yourself, that is the foundation from which your true life path will reveal itself. Being yourself becomes easier when you give yourself permission to love, honor and accept yourself in all circumstances, especially the ones where you might be more tempted to reject and judge. Give the secret rebel, I'm sorry, give the sacred rebel within the opportunity to decide your values, irrespective of whether they meet with general social acceptance. This oracle brings you the message that what you are dreaming of or seeking to do, create, live or manifest is actually very natural for you. That is why you want to do it. If you experienced controlling and manipulative forces as you were growing up, you would have found it hard to access your natural state at that time, or I'm sorry, at the time. You would have been too busy trying to adapt to get through the trials of childhood. When you finished navigating childhood and started to let go of who you were taught to be in order to become who you really are, you may have found your life path was not easily acceptable, uh, accessible. That is simply because your true and natural self was covered by layers of shame from the early conditioning that you had to be other than you, uh, other than who you are in order to win love or be accepted. I'm sorry, acceptable or accepted. All right. However, that natural self hasn't gone anywhere. It is still there within you. Now it is just about chipping away at the walls of shame, perhaps with a defiant, who the hell cares? I am here and I'm going to love myself anyway. This allows you to risk bearing the feeling of any shame that arises as you release old emotional wounds and break away from any restraints to unconditional self-love. The sacred rebel within can empower you to love yourself no matter what, simply because you want to. You might decide to declare, I am still lovable, so put that in your pipe and smoke it. This will send an energetic message to whomever shamed you in the first place, whether they meant to or not. 
Your message could be going to a parent, school teacher, sibling, friend, lover, or anyone else that was struggling enough with their own shame wound that they couldn't help but dump it on you. You can be freed to realize that the shame is not just emotion, not, in, not a truth, and you can defy any, any hold it has ever had on you and your ability to love yourself. This oracle brings you the guidance that you are now powerful enough to break the cycle. It is time to stop the shame and claim yourself in love instead. What you want to write, sing, dance, or become is you. It is natural. Drop your defenses, get into the grit and comfort, I'm sorry, get into the grit and confront the power that all, any old shaming has had over you. It's finished now. It is time for you to be naked with yourself, acknowledge how gorgeous you are, and get on with your work. Life is urging you to do so, because the work wants to happen. What you want to create wants to be created. The word wants to be written. You just need to let go of any remnants of the past that have been in your way. Step firmly over them and onto your path. So there you have it, Virgo. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope that was helpful for you. If you would like a look into your own personal situation, please don't hesitate to email me. All the information is in the description box below. With that, I hope you guys have a great month, a very, very happy birthday, and I look forward to connecting with you again very, very soon. Well, for, the next, for our, our next reading for the month of October. Whoa. <laughs> All right. Take care, take care guys. <laughs> Bye.